Now, Robert Mueller never received a vote, and neither did the person that appointed him. And as you know, the Attorney General says, I'm going to recuse myself. <laughs> and I said, why the hell didn't he tell me that before I put him in? How do you recuse yourself? But the person that appointed Robert Mueller never received a vote. Robert Mueller put 13 of the angriest Democrats in the history of our country on the commission. Now, how do you do that? These are angry, angry people. You take a look at them. One of them was involved with the Hillary Clinton Foundation running it. Another one has perhaps the worst reputation of any human being I've ever seen. All killers. In fact, it would have been actually better for them if they put half and half, and Mueller can do whatever he wants anyway, which he'll probably do. But we have conflicts. I had a nasty business transaction with Robert Mueller a number of years ago. I said, why isn't that mentioned? He wanted the job as FBI director. I mean, these are things that are out there. They know it. Why isn't that? And I didn't give it to him. Why isn't that mentioned? Jim Comey, Lion James Comey, is his best friend. James Comey is his best friend. And those are a few of the conflicts. Other than that, it's wonderful. So, so, everybody's waiting. I thought of it this morning, Mark, and I heard you made an incredible speech and statement today, Mark Levin. I heard it was incredible. And I was on the way, but I'll see it later. I guarantee I'll be watching it later. I have one of the great inventions in history. It's called TiVo. <laughs> I think it's actually better than television, because television is practically useless without TiVo, right? <laughs> but I'll be watching it later, Mark. But people that got no votes, but I heard this morning, President Trump is waiting for the Mueller report. I said, wait a minute, let, let me get this straight. <laughs> so the Attorney General recuses himself, and I don't fire him. No obstruction. That's the other thing. If you use your rights, if you use your power, if you use Article 2, it's called obstruction. But only for Trump, for nobody else. <laughs> so the Attorney General is weak and ineffective, and he doesn't do what he should have done. Somebody that never got a vote writes a powerful letter, horrible, about Comey. Every single Democrat said Comey should be fired, or worse if possible. <laughs> every Republican said he, everybody, in fact, when I fired Comey, I said, you know, First Lady, I said, Melania, I'm doing something today. I'm doing it because it really has to be done. He's bad. He's a bad, bad, he's a bad, bad guy that's been proven now with all of the emails and the tech. I'm doing something that has to be done. But you know the good news? It's going to be bipartisan. It's going to be so popular. It's going to be bipartisan. Every Democrat hates him. Every Republican hates him. He did a horrible job at the FBI. Speak to the real agents, the real people, because the people in the FBI are incredible people, not the sleaze on top. And, and I said to the First Lady, I said, but you know the good news? The good news is that this is going to be so bipartisan. Everyone's going to love it. So we fire Comey and Schumer, who called for his resignation many times. Podesta, I believe that day, because he still hasn't gotten over getting his ass kicked, okay? I believe that day called for his resignation. That day, Podesta, the great genius of campaigns. He called for the Comey resignation. Others, almost every, I would say 
Mark, would you say virtually every Democrat, virtually every — I can't think of anybody that said he's doing a good job. So I said to Melania, Melania, the good news, this will be a popular thing. <laughs> and I fire a bad cop, I fire a dirty cop, and all of a sudden the Democrats say, how dare he fire him? How dare he do this? And that's where we are, folks. That's where we are. We're in the swamp of Washington, D.C. But you know what? We're winning, and they're not. We're winning, and they're not.